we found a room, a storage room, uh, inside of which were at least 40 one meter tall uh, storage jars. There's another entrance to another room which is also filled with storage jars. Uh, this discovery have actually led us to analyze the contents of these um, storage jars. Andrew will speak about it very shortly. And we actually found out that it was a wine cellar connected to the palace in the immediate vicinity of a large hall used for banqueting. Uh, these aren't surviving in liquid form. That's the first thing that often people ask us. These are residues of the wine that are typically embedded within the fabric of the ceramic. This is different from wine you would find in the present day. So our task is as detectives, in essence, to get the remnants of the best surviving organics and then interpret it based upon the archaeology and the history behind the site. In terms of how we interpret it into wine, we have certain biomarkers such as syringic acid and tartaric acid, which are uh, found in all wines. Well, we're in the time period of the Middle Bronze Age. These are the <coughs> Canaanites that are living in this region. Uh, somebody that lived at this time that people might uh, recognize would be Hammurabi, who's up in Mesopotamia at approximately the same time. But we're down in what is the modern region of Israel. It was resonate, resonated with the terabit resin, meaning that probably has some kind of a taste like more than Greek retina or resonated wine. However, it also found, uh, uh, Andrew found traces of um, honey, therefore it was semi-sweet or even sweet. Plus there were other additives, additives that gave it, gave it perhaps something more of a bitter, perhaps even minty flavor. So you could imagine this um, very heavy retina sweetened, uh, perhaps tasted somewhat like a, like a medicine. Mm -hmm.